There's something fresh about football at Wabash College this fall, and not just the fact that they're back after a 2020 scrubbed out by the pandemic. It's just great to see all of our team together finally for the first time in a year and a half. Um, and to look at the stands and imagine that we're going to see thousands of fans, it's an incredible feeling. Maybe an extra bounce in their steps as practices continue. Maybe that extra bounce is coming from the new turf part of so much that's new around here. It is, it's crazy just being here now. Like I've seen the whole process it, of it being built last year. So actually just getting to come out here, put on my jersey and everything to play is just surreal. This week, Wabash will finally get a chance to showcase the all new Little Giants Stadium. Years in the making, finally a reality after a group of alumni donors came together to fund the $13 million project. The one caveat they had when we built the place was it could not be taller than the chapel. That was their, that was their only input. It, it just speaks volumes to the kind of guy that goes to Wabash, graduates, and then gives back at the end. What was the first reaction from your guys when they got a chance to get in here and see what they had? Our players were stunned and th they watched it closely from the dorms as the construction went on and on. But when they finally walked up or took the elevator up here, uh, they were stunned and in, in, in recruiting I have parents that we don't tell them about the stadium at all. We just let them take it in for themselves and, and it speaks uh, to the school and, and not just the athletic commitment but the academic commitment to this place. This is kind of where you get the chance to really show off campus beyond your football players to a lot of other people. Yeah, yeah. Little Giant Stadium and the track and the field and everything, you know, this is a reflection of the commitment of the college to its students. And this athletic facility was really the, the missing link in our athletic facility portfolio. You look around campus and look at everything else that's been touched in the last five to 12 years. And the football stadium was really the last piece. The new facility sits right on the footprint of the old one. Decades of Wabash history on display and honored throughout the walkways and concourses. The great traditions of Wabash football, they're all here as well. It's a point um, made from, a lot of it comes from the upperclassmen, the coaches, the school as a whole, um, but the history of Wabash and specifically Wabash football is really important and it really feeds into kind of the tradition expectation that we have um, for the team. Um, and it really just feeds into how we conduct everyday business, just um, knowing, knowing that we uh, come from a history of a really um, story program um, and being uh, just shooting to be a, the next chapter in that. Senior offensive lineman Dane Smith got a chance to work as an intern with the stadium's construction team. You know, I almost feel like the secret holder, you know, because obviously when construction was still going on, I had the opportunity to be here. Um, when a lot of other student athletes couldn't. And so, you know, for us not having last season um, and having to go through what we had to go through, um, you know, seeing everyone's excitement, you know, and everyone really didn't know exactly how incredible this place would be, um, not just for the football team, but for the, all of campus. And so that, that obviously was, was unique, um, but really cool too. Now the stadium could have been ready for a home opener a year ago, but without a 2020 season, there's been a full year of anticipation to what will be now game one here for the Little Giants coming up on September 18th. Up top, all the amenities of a new stadium, club seats, boxes, and a suite that the college will use year round for much more than just football. It's the scope, right? It's the scope of the project and what it's going to mean for Wabash College and what it means for our alumni and our students in the community on a football game day. I mean, the environment here is already electric. And so to actually have, have a facility that's gonna give us this environment uh, on a Saturday in the fall, I'm really excited.